Assalamu alaikum everyone. Okay, hard, hard, hard to tell you what's gonna happen. Really hard, all right? And uh, we, uh, you know, but I'm still scratching my head about the CME gap down here. I still, you know, have that. Uh, I'm worried, all right? That's the word. I'm worried. I'm worried about the CME gap because I've seen CME gaps getting filled. You know, we, we filled one here. There was one here. And Bitcoin went down and filled uh, the whole CME gap. And then you have another one that appeared near the $20,000 region. And, you know, you, you do have two places, you know. It's now battle on, okay, between the bulls and the bears. The battle is on, okay. And, and a simple way to put it is that you got 35,000 area with a gap, right? That's the first gap. And then you have the 20,000 area where there's another gap, okay? Somehow, I don't know if there's any, you know, possibility of Bitcoin to go all... I mean, it's possible. Like, honestly, it's really, really possible for Bitcoin to go up there. That's why I say it's a difficult trade. It's really hard to tell you what's going to happen next because you have good reasons to shoot up. The, the You know, the daily time frame is also looking good. You know, Bitcoin is still not overbought. You, you are... You're sitting down at nearly 69 level. You you can have a little bit of a room to go up here. You see that? And then meet this resistance. Or or another thing that uh, we, we can even say is that you do have this big, uh, you know, resistance going on right over there, right? One resistance, second resistance down here, down there, third resistance down, fourth resistance, and you can still go down. You have another reason to go down from here or you have another reason to really break it out and then finally go to this uh, area f uh, finally okay but this is a zone where bitcoin can still there, there are chances you can see that it's still an over you know bought area up here so there's chances of that 35k and then you have this area where you can still have reason to go down so what is it going to be? It's actually so difficult. Okay, if you're a trader, you're going to know what I'm talking about. You're going to know how much of a confusing position we have right now. Because let's say you do go to $35,000, right? Or $34,000. I expect Bitcoin to even shoot at $69,000. But how is it going to go there without filling this gap? That gap is a problem. That gap is a very big bug at the moment. We need to kill the bug in the house before we actually move up right that's the problem because if you're going to go to 35,000 and then drop down to $20,000 that's going to be really 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 stressful okay and you're going to be overbought absolutely overbought and you're going to have the biggest biggest drop down fill that uh, you know gap and then finally take off to $69,000 i'm still bullish at 69 the problem i keep saying is that this area is a problem and that's why still i'm not bothered long term you see long term all you do is what you zoom out right no matter it doesn't now when you zoom out what what difference does it make what happens here because long term we're looking for this so whatever happens here it's it, it doesn't even feel like anything but when you zoom in there and you look at the levels on a short-term trade and then you are worried about the twenty thousand dollars and then you're worried about thirty five thousand dollars it's stressful it's really 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 stressful okay especially if you're looking for a swing trade um, or you're looking for an intraday trade we want to uh, trade in between the days that's going to be a bit of a problem now let's Diving into the four hour time frame as well. And as far as I look at the four hour time frame, you know, I see that uh, you're making something like this. Yesterday we talked about a pennant here, but this pennant basically broke up, didn't go to the main target. And then, you know, I'm, I'm trying to look at Bitcoin, trying to make this very big ascending wedge, something like that. It's even weird what Bitcoin is doing, but this is more like still to me, you know, if, if I zoom out, honestly, I still see this is more like a distribution and Bitcoin is still trying to get above. So it's a little bit of a hard trade. I'm just going to remove some of the drawings and you do have uh, one resistance up here. So what is it going to be, guys? Let me know in the comments because um, let's just say, Adam, this time is going to be absolutely blank to tell you what exactly the next move is going to be. But I would say that if we, you know, one one thing is very clear and certain. If you close below this level like this and backtest and fail, 
that's when we might actually drop down to 20k otherwise you do really have chances to push up and i don't know what's gonna be i do see some altcoins want to drop down some altcoins are literally down and they want to pump back up the market is in anybody's favor at this point right now all you can do is maybe just look for a nice good setup and think of you know trading that setup and you might get lucky in the middle in between there or just wait for something to drop down and then save uh, you know trade even much more safe uh during the, uh, the time when the prices are actually uh, you know dropping down and then you enter so it's a crazy market right now and that's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin. Let's see what this stupid coin does and I'm going to see you the next one. Love is.